got a couple new pieces uh, to work with this year. I don't know if uh, both are out here uh, today, but just your thoughts about the two high draft picks. Uh, I, I like them. I think uh, they will help us. Um, they bring uh, some things to the table uh, that we like. Uh, we, we want athletic guys. They're both extremely athletic. We want bright guys. They're both extremely bright. Um, they'll come in and compete right away, and we'll see where it goes from there. What makes it? What, what about those guys that you think they could start? Two rookies. Because we drafted them in the second round. Uh, we wouldn't draft them so high if we didn't think they could compete and contribute this year. How's Ali Marquette going in that transition from a tackle to guard? Uh, you know, that started a while ago. He, he, in the senior bowl, he played guard, um, and he really did a nice job. The first day there, he was at tackle. The rest of the way there, he was he was at guard, and he did a nice job. Um, and that's one reason we were encouraged with him. So, And so far here, he's done a nice job with it. And what, and what makes you think that he's going to be able to make that successful transition from that? Well, you know, it's interesting. I'll, I'll bring up the Senior Bowl again. Here's a guy that's a, a, a Division three player. He goes to the Senior Bowl. That's the best of the best, you know, of, of the college guys. And you couldn't tell he wasn't a Division one player. You know, there was no drop off with him. And actually, he was playing better than some of the higher ranked players that were at the Senior Bowl. What can you say about Donovan? Uh, obviously, here's a guy you take in the second round. You say he's you know, high enough to, to start at left tackle, but that, that's a big challenging position, isn't it, for, in the NFL? It is. It is definitely a big challenging position. But you know, if, for your left tackle, you want a guy that's smart. You want a guy with size. You want a guy with range. You want a guy with athleticism. Uh, and the best guys I've been around have all had that. Uh, he's got size. He's very, very bright. Uh, he's very athletic. Uh, you know, We're putting in a lot of stuff. And, I don't, I don't know about a true mistake he's made so far. So, so far he's got a good start. But, he, you know, Kevin Panfield's in front of him, so he's got to beat Kevin out to be the starter at this point. I was talking to Donovan about just the, kind of just the difference in playing left tackle. You have to have a different attitude and a different mindset to play that position, knowing that you're going against another team's premier edge rusher. Do you think he has that? I mean, what, what intangibles does he have that leads you believe he can do this? Uh, when you watch his college tape, uh, when he played against the good players, he played, played better than good. I mean, he played really well. So the, the better the competition, the better he played. So uh, he's going to see that every week. So some of these guys that were high draft picks that he went against in this draft, he got after them very well. So we're, we're excited about it. He's not going to back off in those situations. Guys like Randy Gregory, I mean, was that kind of what sealed the deal for you? Well, I mean, that's part of it. That's part of the whole process. I mean, we worked him out. We, we went up and grinded him in the meeting room. I mean, we, we put him through the ringer, as all these guys. So at the end of the day, he came out with flying colors. We were really impressed. George, of the guards you have on roster, and I'll include my pet in that, which are the guys that you'll work hardest at, at cross-training to get work at center as well so they can snap for you? Um, I think right now, you know, Ali will do a little bit in terms of just snapping, but we won't make him play center. As I go through it, Josh Allen, uh, Gilkey will do it. Uh, Jeremiah Warren will do it. Uh, we'll work Ben at center and guard. So really, everybody but Logan and uh, and Ali, uh, or excuse me, and uh, Kadeem. We won't cross train Kadeem. Those are the only three guys that won't cross train at center. George, I don't know if we asked this before, but going back to Matt Masafilo and just the, the the idea of giving him a look on the offensive line and how he's taken to that. What have you seen from him that gives him a shot there? Matt's hungry. Uh, and he's like a sponge. So every day he comes out here, he gets a little bit better. We know it's going to take some time. Uh, so we're patient with him. Um, but I like the fact that he shows up every day. He wants to get better. He, you know, he, he doesn't shrink to criticism. You know, if you say you're doing this wrong, you need to try that. He says, okay, I'm going to do it. And, and if he goes about it that way. He'll he'll progress pretty quickly. Are there other guys you've had as an NFL coach, as a position coach, that have switched sides and and, and had it work successfully at this level? Uh, none that I switched. Uh, yeah. There's been some that have switched, that, sure. but none that I've switched. How much so. does it help the fact that you're playing on that other side, kind of knowing the tricks of the trade on that other side, and then kind of being able to counter that? Uh, w once he gets comfortable, that might be a factor. Right now, he's just trying to figure it out. Uh, but I think, you know, once he gets comfortable and, and he can establish himself over there, he'll have a, an understanding that some of the other guys don't have about defensive line play.